Hi, my name is Akra Yunyong Hatapon from Thailand. Um, I'm currently a doctoral student in piano performance at Schulich School of Music, McGill University, in Montreal, Canada. Um, with many historical pianos at uh, the Orpheus Institute, one of the topics we have been exploring is how pedals were used by performers and notated by composers in the past. Here, I have been working on Schubert's last sonata in B flat major, which was dedicated to Johann Nepomuk Hummel, who met Schubert in 1827, a year prior to the year of the composition. Um, interestingly, Hummel published a treatise on the art of piano playing in the same year, 1828. In the treatise, Hummel dedicated the third chapter for pedaling. In it, he demonstrated a kind of pedaling which mixed tonic and dominant harmonies together. With the octave legato in the opening of the Schubert Sonata, we can only achieve the legato with the damper pedal. And if we apply Hummel's pedaling idea of mixing tonic and dominant harmonies and following the bass line, this would be the result. Along with the tradition of hand stops, Schubert's second movement, written in the same key as Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, famous for its open pedal effect. It is entirely possible that Schubert's marking, called pedal, is meant to emulate the mood and reverberance of Beethoven's Moonlight. Please note the sensitive timing I employ.